put on, bro. Yo. What would you want to lane into Callista Caitlyn with? The two biggest lane bullies. All right, but here's the big question. Who's the support? Callista. Are you positive? If it's support Caitlyn, they are not trying to win. <laughs> it has been played. This meta seems troll, but whatever. I guess we'll see. Wow, that is... Huh. I don't like their comp, but maybe it's fine. Who? CLG? Yeah. Maybe it feels a little, like, because not a. Yeah. I, they don't have, like, any guaranteed CC, I think, is what I don't like about it. Yeah. Like, everyone on C9 is pretty slippery. I mean, what is C9's comp trying to do? They're, like, Giga Pryo pushing bot lane, Ari Vi for mid jungle duo, mm -hmm. and Fiora top. So they're kind of like a split pick comp. I mean, Ori seems okay. Uh, I don't think Ori's bad. This buff are pretty good. Oh. You shall do way better. <laughs> what I expect. Could get some real Wumble Combo type shit going on. Seraphine, Oh, E, Wukong. And uh, Ori. Can Sven play Callista? What kind of support players can actually play Callista? Maybe they can get a little bit of cheesy damage here out of the start. It is a Q start for... Caitlyn, uh, so there's a potential of actually looking for something, and this could be uh, a potential oh, here on the red buff by just this is so off. cursed for contracts. Push contracts off this. Huh, contracts, he's gonna beat his ass. So wow, that's actually cringe. Oh my oh, god, what it's the so fuck, Fudge? You monster! He could have flashed and finished him. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm so tilted if I'm fucking hmm. contracts right now. Like, I don't even want to play anymore. Well, at least Fudge missed a single melee minion. No, he missed... Wait, he only missed one? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Why would Dokla even push there? That's the real question. Yeah, I mean... Like, you gotta at least make him pay for what he's doing. You don't let him get away with that and then also not make him pay the price. Yeah, he should probably miss, like, two. But at least maybe three so melees i mean that's pretty devastating that. yeah i mean sometimes the managers are fucking weird depending how long fudge is out there i mean it looked like doklo was pushing though like he had his charged up q meaning yeah he the wave twice already at least no he, he definitely did yeah. He definitely did, yeah. Hmm? Dude, look how slow Contracts is. Blabber's level 3 and Contracts just finished his first camp. Yeah. That's actually, like, just so cursed, though. Like, oh! it, it's fucking BG when that happens. They didn't show it, but it's been ignited somewhere. Super early. Probably bot lane. Berserker also healed. Ebony. Oh, wait. I thought he just healed. Huh. But he didn't. Okay. Um, that was Seraphine heal right now. now you know, Buy's my new favorite champion. Why? OP. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's gonna work? The Viki lands. Oh, what a tragic flash. Oh my god. The redive. Wow, Wait. CLG's flashes were okay. not it right there. Holy this shit. This game is going horribly for CLG. Oh, contracts, maybe he can get one back. Okay, wait, this is... Oh, my, even Dokla TP for that. Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 oh, no. Oh. Hmm. If he went left, well, actually. A little hindsight, but... Honestly... At the end of the day, that was ended up being okay for CLG. Yeah. Man, Luger's flash still gets hit by Vi. Poom flashes before they start tanking. Yeah, dude, what even happened with that flash? Like, did he flash into Vi Q? Let's see. Looked like it, yeah. Like, I, I feel like he was trying to flash over it and, like, flash into it. Like, that looks like it dodges, no? Yeah, it was pretty weird. Huh. He was like in the back of Vice hitbox or something. Yeah. 
you know, fails to flash a little bit, gets taken down, a, and then they're able to chase down and get it. It was a reasonable here. attempt, yes, I'd say. Yeah, that, that looked fine from Seraphine's end. It just was extremely generous or some shit. I'm curious what the top lane status is going to be for Doko when he gets back there. Like, if he misses that huge wave crash and it pushes back, he's going to not be very happy. Contracts level three, true. He is getting fisted a bit. I mean, he'll be fine later. Like, it's just going to be really cringe early. Like, he'll get the, yeah, like, he'll get the catch up XP. And he'll be like, he'll be like a level down, but it's just super rough right as it happens. Wow. Actually, a bit of a lane dominance for Mori. A bit like, of a mid gap. Already had to recall, no TP. Yeah, this is actually not looking good. Is this just how the matchup goes? Or is Palafox just out playing? That's a pretty big diff. I don't know. Surely it's a matchup thing. Diplex is doing pretty well in his other matchups. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people can just have like a bad game or something. Like, you're just. Yeah, shit's missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> goes back for the pink. Fuck it. The fade away. <laughs> Blabber didn't know where anyone else was. Like, obviously, with our info, he could have kept fighting him, but yeah. If you force that fight and then Wukong's sitting there and you end, it's uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love helping Harold now. Like when I'm mid lane in the, the mid game, like the second herald, just gets so much cash. Uh huh. For such low commitment, like dragon will beat me up depending on the drag if it's AOE splash. But herald like doesn't even fight back; he just dies. Yep. <laughs> And boom, they got level six in the Seraphine. That's the one that really matters. The Encore can really, really determine the flow of a fight. And Wukong is here. Wukong is hiding in this brush, or at least was, was right in there and is six. So they could look for this. If they Sneaky's too loud. Sneaky, why are you so fucking loud, man? Sorry, man. Oh, dude, that's actually. Yeah, that's true. They, they can't even go for Kate. Yep. Callista Alt is the cringiest shit in the game. Yep. Wow. Oh. Uh, does that work? Not really. It doesn't look like it. The chunk, I guess. Oh, they don't have Wukong all. Yeah. Pretty lower. Wait, dude, look at Contract's items. <laughs> Wait. Two long swords to <laughs> the chain punk, chem punk sword thing. Yeah. Holy shit. He's got more now, but that was a massive gap in that gank, specifically. Yeah, I was fucking around with VyQ to check, like, how it knocks back, because me and a Lulu were, like, directly on each other in a bush, and a VyQ'd me, and I got f flung, like, upwards, and Lulu, like, barely moved. Hmm. And like when I tested it, I couldn't even reproduce that. It was so weird. Interesting. It has such weird properties. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, good flash. Ooh, good flash by Dokla. Damn, bro. Nah, Cassante's totally not even OP. He can just fucking get blind picked. Countered, <laughs> TP bottom to cover, still up in CX, bang, <laughs> and still just be winning. <laughs> nah, he's like, we can actually just counter pick him, guys. Well, the the early game was like, Fudge didn't even lose that much, but like he should have lost way more than what he did. Oh yeah, that's true. He did fuck with Kong. Yeah. That's that factors in for sure. Just being down in XP the whole lane. Yeah, like maybe Fiora's really advantage level one as well. And she like loses that window. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, Fiora also spikes really fucking hard at Sunderer. Whereas Cassante, like the Bramble spike, is gonna be way better for him than anything she can get. Oh God. 
Wow, Doko is just all the way here. No TP. Are they... Is C9 going to contest this? I this feel like at this point, when you shit. Do they know Doklas here? I don't know. I mean, yeah, Surely, they do yeah, they, Okay, they must have not seen him. And then as soon as they saw him, they're like, all right, you can have it. Yeah. Which is the right decision. It would have been really greedy to take that fight. This is bad as hell for the top lane situation, though, for CLG. Yep. I guess they just want to slow down the dragon stack. Buy themselves some time. Ow. It's Aiden EQ. Uh, because they gave up that quick soul as a win condition and it's now Fiora's gonna have Sunderer I would expect the top lane matchup to get pretty rough from here these are the new AD carry changes and CLG is not playing an AD carry yeah like Caitlyn absolutely will build IE second and if he doesn't he's griefing and will be reported appropriately I was playing some uh Zaya yesterday but played second seemed absurdly strong. Yeah. She might actually be OP as fuck this patch. I'd, I'd believe that. I got shredded by a Zaya. Is quick play is better than IE? Yeah, like, it's permanent W uptime, by the way. It's crazy. Oh. The CLD have good tools for dealing with Caitlyn. Uh, yeah. I feel like not, not really. I think it's fine if some. Wukong's not super behind. Oh. What about a Caitlyn with a Callisto? This doesn't even seem good at all for C9. Wow, all right, he died. Yeah, it's so bad for C9. She's gonna have to settle with double kill. Oh, actually one for one. Unless they can get more. He should be an e dead. Oh. 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 oh, wow, that repost actually shit on him. That was clutch. All right. Hellfox missed the Q. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Dang. I, I feel like Kasante wasn't supposed to die like that. Oh, he doesn't have a first item still. Wow. Uh, I, that's actually a first item gap. I, I'm pretty sure in most situations, Kasante doesn't die instantly there. And then... The, and then they literally don't even kill him. Yeah, I, I hope they replay it because I, I was watching LEC and apparently like if Cassante and Vi ult each other, like Cassante will just appear like really far away from Vi. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you can buffer it though. Like I did see it once, but no. Okay, I I don't really like the way that. Oh wait, Blabber flashed behind Dokla, so he couldn't didn't get dragged into the tier three. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sure if he could have ulted that. Wow, that is such a Fiora thing, dude. Yeah. Low as hell. I healing. healing, bro. Like what? Yeah. Haven't hasn't CLG had like massive deficits on their other games as well? They definitely did the second game. I don't remember the first. Hmm. I know they had Sejuani both games. I think Sejuani, especially with Radiant. Dude, That's a crazy comeback honestly, champ, yeah. it feels like yeah. this early LCS is just like Radiant Diff in all these games. Yeah. Like, the item is getting nerfed, kind of, changed. Oh my god, Sven's... Oh my, he's not dead? Holy shit. Wow, they almost took out this second AD carry. Oh the my god. Nah, but Callista's actually just... Her ult's so toxic. <laughs> I this. I almost want to call it unthrowable for C9. Mm. I don't feel like CLG has the damage to just bang people out the way you would need to. No, yeah. And no one on C9 is particularly vulnerable. Like, you have Riposte, Vi's got a lot of mobility, Tanky too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't like their comp. Like, I felt like Ori didn't really solve their problem. Maybe just... Would, though. I don't know. I mean... Like, double Enchanter bot lane, and then an Enchanter mid is pretty much what it is. Like, Ori's not a full Enchanter, right? But, uh -huh. like, she's not really a hard carry. So then, who's your hard carry? Cassante? Like, yeah. it's kind of fucking rough. 
He's got like 20 seconds I, I mean, where he can I, be carry. I see it more as a problem with the Seraphine than anything else. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's part of it. Like, I don't even know what mid pick you pick there to salvage the fact that you have a Seraphine. Mm. Especially because you're going up against Ari Vi. Like, you need something that's good against Ari in lane. I don't know the matchups well enough to say, but. Yo, Mad Doll, welcome back. Thanks for the sub. Oh my god, Caitlyn's doing it. She's building the IE. The infinite edge. I mean, we have guaranteed oh. crits. That's so insane. Oh. All right. Not a bad pick. Can contracts get out, though? Probably not. All right. One for one. Is this C9 playing well or CLG not punishing? Uh, I mean, I feel like the level one from C9 was pretty good. That actually fucked contracts so hard. Oh, my God. Um, that dude's dead. Oh. Owned. Dude, this... I don't know why, but I feel like only now people are, like, starting to use Vi's Q better in combat, like, using, you can sort of, like, animation cancel the beginning of it if you, like, do an auto and then start up a Q. Mm. For some reason, I don't know if it, like, wasn't a thing before, but, like, I haven't really seen it much before recently. Oh. Flashing on the support? Yeah. I mean, what's CLG gonna do? There's not really a big punish here. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess Fiora is just unkillable. Did you see the Cassante nerfs? He's getting next patch. No. They're making it so when he goes all out, he loses 85% of his resistances instead of 65. Oh. That's actually pretty big. <laughs> He'll actually just fall over dead. Cause like. What the f Say you have 100 armor MR, you go down to 35 right now, but now you're going to be going down to 15. Yeah. Less than half of what you had before. It seems kind of fucked up, but maybe Cassante's fucked up, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait. I just feel like they can't actually kill anyone. Well, you would be right there, son. That's legit, like... I mean, they're super fucking behind, but... That is kind of the problem with their comp when you don't have any super hard lockdown. It's hard to just finish people off. They'll just run away or flash out low HP. Yeah. What is Ven building? Yomu's? No, that's not Yomu's. Is that anything? Is that... Is that Edge? Nope. Collector. Okay, I mean, if you get collectors to support, you're fucking reported. <laughs> oh, is it? Serpent's thing? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So many people in chat wrote Edge of Night. I wasn't sure. Like, I know it's dirt. I mean, it used to build out of that, but it hasn't been like that for a while. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. What a giga stomp. Yep. This is kind of what we were missing last week in terms of average game time. It's like, yeah. Game should end around here, but none of them were. Except for like one. Is Seraphine Karma actually a lane? Though, that's the thing. Like, that's not a lane you're picking. That's just like trying to weather the storm bot lane. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, like, it can work, but it's <laughs> kind of dependent on your opponents just not being able to punish you at all. Yeah, I mean, also with the AD carry changes, though, like, you're missing out on having Thanos on your team. True. I think you would legit need a hard carry somewhere else for that to work, like a Kindred or something. Yeah, that that would help it a lot. So, Cassante first pick seems good, and then Lucian one two. And like they have to go Nami here, right? Like I, I think you mean R one, R one R two, R one B one B two, B three. Yeah, there's the Nami. Kind of locked into it, not 
the worst thing, but... Wow, they... this Golden Guardians comp. Very high-octane Resident Sleeper. Guys, let's all pick scaling champs. Do nothing for 30 minutes. Blah. I'm rooting for FlyQuest. Hmm. Well, maybe we could get a spicy matchup mid. Oh. Yeah, like Victor versus Zier. <laughs> Dude, that would be so sick. I don't know. This lane can lead to a lot of kills. If the teams aren't pussy. Yeah, like we're not even going to play for scaling here. They should actually give teams like entertainment points. Because honestly, dude, it's like... If you're a low tier team, nobody cares how well you can like take no risks and scale and hope the other team fucks up and you get a win. Like <laughs> That's boring either way. Yeah. Win or lose. You should actually get props for like how entertaining you are. Mm -hmm. That should be reflected somewhere somehow. Stomps by themselves aren't naturally boring. Yeah, because I mean, I feel like, so, so, like what makes a game boring or not is like the risks that are taken, right? Because like, if you look at what got C9 ahead, like Fudge took the risk of invading uh, Wukong there, knowing that like he's going to lose melees for this. And a lot of times, like what teams will do is say that didn't work out. Like say somehow uh, Wukong wasn't on the red or something and like he got nothing and then he lost melees and he's just fucked all lane they lose the game and he's just, he'd come out of it being like well I'm never doing that again that was fucking awful <laughs> or like the bot dive right like that bot dive wasn't super safe to go for like it wasn't guaranteed or anything yeah. they still sent it but like these risks are what's getting them these huge leads mm -hmm. and then they run with it and to me, that's like what makes the team good. Yeah, that that was not just like let's just draft as much scaling as humanly possible and try to do literally nothing. Yeah, like we don't want to fight in every lane. Yeah, we're just playing for counter ganks as our best strat. Oh my god, it's butthole. I don't understand Lucian Nami, bro. Like. I have no idea how the lane matchups are going to go when this shit's picked. Oh, wow. Uh, well, usually the way it is with Lucian Nami is, like, Nami is usually pretty good at trading, but Lulu kind of matches it. And then uh, eventually it's all about Lucian being able to find the right angle to, like, E on one of them and not get hit by both. And then he just blasts them real quick in a trade. This is the classic, dude. He saw him, classic huh? gank victor pre six fucking flash on him and his flash will be down as your hit six. True. What is Gory from? Chat. Mid. Was he from LCK? Thought he was. It's short for Gorilla. He used to play support. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I know that guy. But he used to play with Prey. But River's strat is actually just three camp, beat off bottom river for 30 seconds. Bottom river? River's yeah. a bottom? Oh my the god. The bottom river, yeah. Flash on him. Literally nah, trade no flash. chance Spika gets the crab. If Spika gets the crab after all this, like... Nah, but it's AFK time. It's time to leave the game, River. What the fuck You is hovered happening? over for that long and your team couldn't get Pryo for the crab. It's over. <laughs> Go next. Oh, well, his lanes are scaling, man. You got to give him 30 minutes. I feel like River should have flashed on mid there at some point. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I think Vikla, he's aware of where he was and spaced well. Yeah, maybe. Bro, if I'm River, I'm like, I have one finger pressing down alt and the other one like extending up toward my F keys. <laughs> it's actually so fucking long ago. That had to be 2013. Oh, yeah. It was literally like the beginning of LCS. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, six time. What? He's really he flashes there. Oh, you're ahead of me. Oh, what game time are you at? Two. Three. Damn, I actually feel like this lane was going really well for Vikla until then. That yeah. is literally how the matchup goes. It wasn't even the jungler that was there to follow up on. 
Oh. Oh wow. Is that a kill? No, it's not. Wow, they almost turned it around on Huhi. Yeah. Oh, I just saw Lucian as ignite. I think it's fine. He's usually in range to push it. Why Ionia boots so popular in pro? Uh, I mean, it's not a bad item. I think a big part of it might just be like how much gold you have when you recall. Like yeah. You kind of want to get as strong as you can every time you base. So if like, say you don't have a perfect buy to get like a lost chapter or something, rather than getting just shit components, you just go cooldown boot and whatever. <laughs> you get fucking fast as hell. Like his flash is down, so he actually needs more move speed. Uh huh. I don't think that's like the only reason people do it, but I think that can be part of it. I, I hope I hope they fully turn Victor into a robot. In season two arcane. <laughs> Should if he's in it. If it even follows the. In it. I don't. I don't know what their plans are. Like, are they just continuing it? Ow. Oh. Wow. Spika, go back to Maokai, dude. I, like, I'm not even trying to be toxic, but just go back to Maokai. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a weird game. It's actually... I would feel, like, real bad if in these games, kind of like what Contracts and now Spika is, where you're playing Wukong, but you don't really have, like, the best lanes to play off of to, like, set things up. You're just farming on Wukong. Yeah. This champ feels like shit to farm on. No cap. It's the Poppy matchup fun. Yeah, I mean, Poppy's wild and, like, you don't really worry about what Poppy's doing in this kind of game. Mm -hmm. He's just running around being a turd. <laughs> Uh, they're going up for this Herald swap, but it is going to be one plate going Oh, down. the plate, dude. I don't think it's either strong in lower elo now. So you're telling me if Faker's playing Azir in low elo, like, he's not going to do well? No, I meant Something more about like... lower elo just makes him not strong? The players in lower elo on Azir probably aren't going to do that well. Oh, so you're saying lower elo players are worse than oh. Faker? Yes. Yikes. Wow, that was... Nami's dead. Oh, oh that my... is zero! Oh, wow. Wall, that fucking hurt, dude. Really? I would feel bullshitted if I was Lucian on that one. Damn. Yeah, he, getting clipped and literally dying to that. What the fuck? It did so much. Yeah. That was insane at zero ult. That, wow, that actually ends up being good for Golden Guardians. It looked like Stixa and Huhi just got completely fucked under the tower. I mean, they did, but then... Response from Golden Guardians was good. Yeah. Wait, so they have all the info. Like, this is the weird part. There's no surprise here. Like... They see Wu. So this is just like a huge outplay by FlyQuest or like poor play by Golden Guardians to let that happen. Yeah. Hey, who he actually just got hounded under the turret. Deleted. Surprise. Lucian went for that, I guess, as the intro. Just WRs, fucking so puts Lulu to half tanking turret. Good play though. Super yeah. good. It was Chad. Man, I feel like that's seems like one of the best ways to start it. Like, yeah. the, it's not a full commit to do that. You just see what happens. Like, you get someone super low, it makes the dive easy. If you, yeah, I just meant more like whatever him being the literal starter of it, I guess. And like, he was pretty deep under turret when he started it. It's good awareness though. Wow, six A down one point five K now. Oh yeah, that ain't good. This year is. Now equal illusion, gold. Huh, speaking of when green smite this game, that's kind of interesting. Wukong usually goes blue, and I know Spika likes blue. I wonder what it is about this comp that makes green better. Yo, so Licker's still in Iceborne even against Poopy, or Gwen. I think that's the play, dude, like... 
Every time I don't go Iceborne on Cassante, I feel like a fucking turd. What would you think you would build, potentially, instead of Iceborne? First. Jack Show. Oh. Mm. Because, like, Jack Show on paper should be really good on Cassante, but whenever I play it, I, I actually just feel weak as fuck. Uh-huh. Oh, yo, we get in a fight. Double Ghosted? Holy shit, it's Goku versus Vegeta. Oh? It's, it's Goku versus Perfect oh. Cell. Oh. oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness! It really is Goku versus Perfect Cell. Who won? Cell. He needs Gohan. <laughs> Bro, that's actually so fucking close. <laughs> Holy shit. You could even tell he was going to win that. Nope. I wonder if the players knew who was going to win it. <laughs> I don't think so, Oh, dude. my God. Oh, my. Nah, but, like, I think Lucian's actually, like, pretty balanced. Bro, that... How much gold was that, BDS? How much business we talking? Uh, let me look. He got 120 from that. <laughs> Where are you looking? You have the stat huh? thing up or something, or what? Second monitor. Hmm. Hey, it's quite the cash. There's nothing on my second monitor, but I am looking at it. Oh. Wait, I noticed the gain for my mic got turned down. Was it your cat? I'm cat turning the gain up. I might have to turn it down on OBS now. Oh? I think that's why it was sounding weird. Impact's dead as hell. Okay. That's what you think. Dude, Azir's getting rich. This is Gory's game to carry. It is, actually. Asante is on the flank here. What's he going to do with it? Oh! Oh! Uh, yikes! Lil River, bro? Alright. Completely what the? tragic. It, like, River flashed in and didn't do anything? He just pushed W? Was that what I saw? Yep. Huh. I mean, there's legit no follow-up. I think it was Hex Flash. Mm. I mean, I, the idea was to, like, catch Lucian trying to E away or something, like, ground him and then get him in, I think. Put him in the corner. Ground him. Go back Obviously to your room. did not go exactly as he would have liked. Yeah. Hurricane Zeri? I don't know. I, I I haven't played her enough on the newest patch with Quick Blades and IE, but Hurricane's all right. Like one of those has to be better second. I I feel like it is, yeah, because it also allows you to build other shit easier after you get your second item. Lord Dom Lucian, not Cyril does. Yeah. It's more ult damage. Weird uh, champ. I don't think he goes thrilled as ever with Nami. Wrong. You're wrong. Okay. My mistake. Surely sta slow stack in this game. Yeah, but yeah, surely like the uh, Nami is always having her E on you every single time you're touching someone. I think so, actually. Yeah, and Nami's just giving you that CDR you're... Losing out on. If she's dead, you're actually useless as Lucian. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> it's legit how it goes. Like, Nami's the fucking carry. That doesn't sound right. It's real. It's fake. Play it. Play Lucian without Nami. Or, no, no. Play, play Lucian with Nami. And then have your Nami die and try and team fight. Okay. Let's. Our Just, next duel game, I'll play Lucian, you play Nami. Realize how pathetic you are as Lucian. No, I, I'll play Lucian. You'll be my little Nami kitty. <laughs> Spika is on that flank. Can he find the angel? Hmm. Looking like it's a straight-up Flyquest is on soul point, huh? Yeah. 
<sighs> Alright, Golden Guardians. Enough is enough. Time to stop farming. <laughs> You've made it to soul point with your scaling comp. 29 minutes of tiny action resulting in truly nothing. I mean, it wasn't like super... At least they were fighting each other some. It wasn't yeah. like just legit AFKing. Oh my god, yo. Oh, big ult. They got it. Wow. Oh. Okay, run. Golden Guardian, just run. Fly question, just head straight to Baron here. Victor got his nipples twisted by his ear. Jesus. Yeah, but I mean, Golden Guardians use Poppy and his ear ult. They didn't need I, I to think use his ear. That was troll. they even stop this Baron? I think they just lose it. Yes, Gwen ulted. That's pretty big. Uh, Surely Fly just flips the Baron. You just do it. Wow, they're really not. I don't know. Huh. Right, that's a tough call. I would have just sent it, bro. That's like the solo queue. Like, I, I swear, this happens every time in solo queue. Like, the winning team, if they don't get a dragon, they just run to Baron right away. Uh. Yeah, I... Just, I mean, like, the condition of Poppy's ear was down, but... Yeah, I mean, that's why sure. I... Because how does Golden Guardian walk in? You still have, like, Victor ult and Lucian Nami ult. Like, it's going to be... It'd be so hard for Golden Guardian to actually walk into that. Yeah, I mean, we'll see right now, I guess. Azir ult is up now, so... Riskier. Oh, all right, they get it. There you go. They probably could have got it before. Oh! What the fuck? Man, they really need to show first strike old better. Bro, that shit hurt. Yup. Is because Poppy's underfed? How much? It's 30 armor on Radiant? Mm -hmm. I mean, Poppy is, like, actually support tier this game. He's so fucking poor. Yeah. Oh! Which has, like, 200 CS on him. Wait, how did Lulu die? Gwen, our reader, I think. Mm. Sniped her after Lucian chunked her. Yeah, you can just see how much pressure Prince is putting on them. The previous calling gets River really low, forces him back. Now he uses the ignite, uses the gale force, finds who he gets him down low enough that impact can just finish him off there. And Prince oh, is big Zeri W. He's one one and two, which isn't a. a <laughs> Oh my god, he just shit his pants. Alright. Oh man. Just watching Golden Guardians play feels so... I don't know, aimless. Doesn't feel like they're really trying to do stuff. They're just sort of existing. The yep. comps are probably talking a lot about how much, how much gold they are from their next item. <laughs> That's the classic. Like... It, it, Anytime I'm on a team and people start doing that, I just get like so triggered. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, like, where should we set up our vision? Like, do we want it defensive? Do we want to like play for an objective? And it's just like, yeah, well, I'm 300 gold for my dagger, so like, I'm just gonna recall here. <laughs> Wanting to get stronger, but also just never being involved in anything by doing that. It, it's like an insecure thing where you feel like if you ever have unspent gold in your pocket, like you cannot play. Oh, oh, really? You get the ground on Lucian and there's no punish. Wow, it's looking doomed. I feel like he totally could have died there. I think they should have at least tried. Like maybe you don't win the fight, but I, I don't know if you're getting a much better opportunity than that. Yeah. This would be the time to try to go for it. It's Prince and Spica doing up the Baron. It is spotted by that blue orb. They can't give this up with the soul already taken. I, are they I fixed my mic stand after it just fell on me. Oh. Rivers going in oh. solo. Gory flashed in. Uh. That impact said. Looked a little bit desperate. All right, River. <laughs> Wow. He he's doing no damage. Yo, wait. Licorice. Oh, wow. He won that a second ago, but now he loses. Thank. Yeah. 
about to cut him to pieces though Spika just continues but does he die going after this top looks like it oh who's oh. faster uh, oh he's gonna uh, get oh. mr no, prince but he, speaker needed his team he's so scared man <laughs> <laughs> well that's not a great look for golden guardians this is like the classic bottom of the standings team where like it, this isn't like just golden guardians this happens every split with the bottom tier teams where like they just it feels like they, they don't have an identity they're just probably not a lot of team trust probably losing all their scrims like when they have opportunities they hesitate don't go for it they I it's the scalar team pick for scaling because you've thrown too many <laughs> leads with early game champs yeah so you start being like all right fuck it dude we're just picking all scaling just survive to late game yikes i think both drafts are similar right now yeah it's like looks pretty even i'm a big fan of sedge i think vi also looking really good though it's legit just rating and virtue dude Although Poppy did have Radiant Virtue and looked giga fucking useless, so maybe that's not the only thing that matters. Oh my god, they're doing it to him. They're actually Orning. The uh, horny uh, nah, Orny. But it's a scaling comp. Bjergsen Doublelift have sank their teeth into 100 Thieves. Oh god. Not like this. Poor Tenacity, he didn't stand a chance. He's running through his champion pool right now. He just says... Guys, I got Jace, Irelia. I got I got Gangplank. <laughs> I got Jax, and they go. <clears throat> How's your Orn, bud? Might need some frontline here. <laughs> Yo, is there any is there any like tanky chance we can play top into Cassante? <laughs> Preferably one that can upgrade my mythic item. Yeah, I, I think that would be pretty good here. Oh, oh you play one? Oh sick, dude. Yeah, I, I hate to ask it of you, dude, but it, you're just going to have to play Orn this game and all other games. I'm just, sorry. Just go through this game, man, and I, surely we'll, we'll fit you in a carry next game. Azir this, Victor. This Victor into Azir thing rarely goes well for Victor. Yeah. It seems like on paper it, it could be fine, but in practice it doesn't really work out. I think it's just because, like, if it's pure 1v1, I think Victor can win that. But it's just, like... Ganking Azir just makes him slide away. It doesn't really do anything. Ganking Victor makes him flash or die. Yeah. I mean, I got... Like, part of it makes sense, because Victor has the range to fight Azir. Because most champs just kind of get poked by Azir. I don't really know what else is that good into him. Probably some... I think maybe a Kali's fine. I don't know. Maybe you get pushed out of your shroud and you get cringed on. Doesn't seem like a hard counter though. A little bit of a sweeper from Biofrost if he wants to face check here. Takes a very slight amount of damage from Double Lift, but not a whole big deal. Was that? Of course, always like seeing this Nami's eating shit. <laughs> that did not seem worth it. This is the exact same fucking trade we saw actually. GG Fly. Winsome took it up the butt as Nami. Interesting. It looks like. I never really thought about it, but like, they're like deliberately putting their wards at the very edge of the bush so that they can get as many hits on them as possible when they try to sweep it. And like make them have to walk up as far as possible for the sweeper to hit it. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Oh no. Jensen doesn't stand a chance, man. He's laning against Bjergsen plus jungler. This matchup's always been hard for Jensen. <laughs> I forgot we were listening to this fan. I was on the other team. Oh! Did you see that gank? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I wonder if Closer is just nervous playing with Bjergsen. I think there's like this <laughs> invisible pressure on Bjergsen's jungler every time because it's just like, I need to make him happy. He'll be so happy if I do this gank. Mm hmm. He'll be so happy if I get him ahead. Yeah, yeah, maybe. There's there's no other way to choke, right? Just being in the presence of Bjergsen causes the choke. He's so intimidating. So, did he, like, 
press Q and then like it looked like he 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 charges Q up for like half a second and then flashed. Yeah. And let go of Q. Yeah. I mean, I've done that on Vi like recently. Fuck that up, but like you you always flash and then you release Q if you or you like full Q and then you flash the end of it. But like if you try like Q flashing, it'll look like that. Why is Busio playing Lulu instead of the Azir? That's actually yeah, fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Must well, make it really hard to draft against 100 Thieves knowing anything can be flex support. <laughs> sure. Double FCSing like a legit god. Oh. Actually wearing his reading glasses for this one. Oh. 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 Pussy healer. Need, need jungler 2v3 actually scared and now the best part about that is it's going to open up closer to go for another mid gank here <laughs> done a word oh wait he's dodging the, he cues in the bush oh, no why why is he mid right now like there's nothing there what i mean what closer what do you mean okay there it is there's the Boom! Death. No, like, Jensen is fucking Closer. trolling that, no? Well, why is he walking up? Like, he knows he hit six. Azir is six. What? I'm just... I'm not happy that Closer stole the kill from Bjergsen. He, Jensen, no flash. Why would he walk up? Huh? Like, I know it's cringe, but... Fucking no flash? You can't play like that. I mean, it, he probably felt safe because he had the pixel ward, but Vi went over the wall. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's definitely not covering you. It's actually so weird how closer has been, like, ganking and not farming as much, but he's still higher level than Centauran. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, but they're ghosting. How did he? How did he know to do W there? There's no fucking way they would check that, bro. Check the vods now. Check his POV. Did he alt tab? Double have put his fucking map cover on, dude. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. All lanes are winning. Kind of. What's that stop? Jungle's a lane. It counts. Copium. Well, Lucian is not moving and double lift is? Who is this changed man? Wait, why is double lift here? He should never move. We've went over this in VOD review 30 times. Unbelievable. Because he didn't actually fully commit. Yeah, I mean, oh, <laughs> he gets the cannon on the way out. <laughs> Plus one, bitch. Yeah, I'll totally come to Harold. <laughs> I'll come to Harold and not the mid. I promise you, I will not just farm the whole mid wave. I will actually be at the Harold and helping with it. Fuck him, BJ Ergson. Wait, Bjerg laughed at that? Good. He knows. No one takes daddy's farm. I mean, the fact that Dig didn't even get one play made that, like, real good for 100 Thieves. Yeah, I mean, it was a fine move for double lifts, realistically. Like, he, he pushed mm -hmm. Lucian in, Lucian was catching. Like, he can't do anything to Lucian, so he just moves up. Yep. Armut's winning top lane pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. Could be. How is this oh, not just a solo Azir's kill? here. He's Wait, trying Arma to eat over the wall. wall. Instead of over? Yeah. Wait, this is. Oh! Damn. Flash out of the Victor stun. That was pretty nice. Yeah. Is Arma being a Nar one trick like not even a meme? Wait. Is it just true? They actually. I mean. Huh. I guess getting the chunk was good. Yeah, the Herald. Yeah, I don't mind it. I was kind of questioning Double's ult there, but he's fine. 
Yeah, I mean, without chunking them, then it, this defending this becomes a possible play. Now they maybe yeah, yeah, dive. No, it, it, it was good. Yeah. Gotta punish them if they let you. Because that also made them have to use Nami ult defensively, so that basically opened up this entire yeah. play. Like, double if didn't go for that. Yeah, they're fucked. Welp. God damn. Oh. This is looking a bit fucked for Dig. Santorin going for plays. Gets his bombing couple killed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, like, it even turns it around. It's like it's like Santorin had to flash early to not lose all his health. So that he could defend, and they can't dive his bot lane. Yeah. Because bot lane only got dove because Santorin was put to 1 HP. Yeah, I think it was a little bit greedy of Santorin. Wait, I thought you could oh. Q after the ult. Yeah, get it loaded. I, I was pretty sure it was like a is hit it, confirm sure if, if you pull him through the wall. Is it tenacity based? Not the player, the the stat. Yeah, please. Dive yeah, I guess he had too much tenacity. Lul. Casters are too loud. It's so hard to balance the volume of everything. Oh, he's Cleaver Vi. Weird champ. That's not a chain punk cum sword. Oh. I mean, Vi is fed as fuck. It seems good. Go whatever the fuck you want at this point, I think. Wait, is that the name of it? Kim Punk Chain Sword? I think so. That's what I said earlier. I actually got it right. You're a fucking genius. Born in a loser's body. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> that, that was a little bit too far. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> My self-esteem was actually feeling like almost healthy today and she needed a nice little fix. A nice little humbling. Oh, he's dead as fuck. Four man bot lane. Wow. Ooh. And they feed the plug. Yeah. Ashy. Damn, bro. These digs games are actually so sad looking. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they legit haven't gotten anything going. Like, the, the first mistake, I think, was Jensen playing forward, no flash, on a 6 Like, yeah, he kind of had the pink, but I don't know. It's, it's so fucking risky. I feel like you have to E-farm. Because his flash was close to up, bro. Like, if he's not actually... Like, if he's literally under turn and he gets dove, like, whatever. Like, throw your hands up, can't do shit. <laughs> Mm. And then the next mistake was the, like, I, I, I guess it was just center and not flashing. And it's literally just snowballed from there. Yeah, I mean... That's all that's happened. That's literally it. And top died. Yeah. Turn all in. Well, it seems like they should be able to get something going. Like, Santorin had a pretty decent lead on Closer early game, right? Because, like, Closer went for that gank and blew his flash. Yeah. And then Santorin got like the crabs and he ended up being quite a bit ahead in XP, but they didn't really, they weren't able to punish closer for doing what he did. Yeah. Santorin like looked bot a few times, but found nothing. That is kind of the nature of the Victor versus Zier matchup. Like I swear, competitively, this matchup is so heavily Victor skewed, win rate wise, or sorry, Azir skewed. I, I feel like Victor never wins against Azir. Yeah, it's rough. Oh, they're trying to fight. Oh, Lulu's. Oh, actually, really sick. Cassante flank. Yeah. Double test, no oh. He's dead. Actually got Star Walk there. That was nice by Armut. Okay. Okay. That's three kills. For a drag. Yep, that was a good play. That brings him back. Lulu was not dying as fast as I thought she would have. Almost seemed like it would have been fine, but got fucked. Yeah, tenacity, like, 
I want to see how he ended up so out of the fight and why he has Swift in his boots. <laughs> so let's see. Cassante TPs now. It looks like they didn't see the TP. Oh, uh, he didn't even start his tenacity. He's legit just walking is down. So he just starts it it's, like it's not even after worth. the engage. Yeah. No, I mean, that's that's actually pretty huge on tenacity not being there. He definitely wasn't sure if Dig was trying to contest or not. Yeah, I mean, they just need to notice the Cassante TP. Like, it still highlights the word on the map, doesn't it? Like, you can see. If it's in Vision and not on a pink, yeah. I'm glad Dig did something to bring this game back, not make it not giga boring. Yep. Was pretty big, and I mean, they got a lot of summoners out of 100 Thieves from that, too, so they could look for another play. Yeah. Three flashes. Is Orn's build kind of weird? I don't know why he has swiftness boots. Maybe he feels like he needs them to not get ran down by Cassante's Iceborne, but I don't know. Wait, how does Radiant Virtue stack? Do they both have the same effect? If they. Yeah, they do. They like f just full on stack. Like you get t twice the haste and twice the healing. Seems kind of fucked up. Yeah, it is kind of fucked up. This item's getting giga nerf next patch. Well, at least I think it's a nerf. They're increasing the healing. It no longer gives ability power or ability haste, and they're increasing the price. Hmm. Is it increasing healing? Yep, more healing. Okay. But it's a, it's a longer cooldown now, and it's no longer tied to your ult. It's gonna be an active. Oh. Wait, is that just better? Uh, I mean, it's more expensive. Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, I think it'll still be strong. Oh. It's actually not even dead. Wow. Yeah, that was good. It, uh, dodging the engage by... Oh, Wait, what is up with Tenacity? Huh. Like, how is he again just not here? Wow, how does nobody die either side? What the fuck? I think Closer played it defensively pretty well. Yeah. How, like, Tenacity again TP'd in super far away. Late. Uh, I'm confused how he's showing up to the party so late. I mean, I get 100 Thieves is playing around it really well. Big camp. Dig has a check. Oh my god, Santorin. His spidey sense went off there. Which could be useful for Dragonfight if it stays there long enough. I don't think it will, but that kind of ward is one that they need. You know, Do they look for an engage on them? Oh, they could definitely engage on this if they want to. Oh, Dig's going in. Oh, Closer actually getting fucked. He's just fucking dead. Oh, Arma is kind of out of the fight. Flash in, double flash in! Oh, he's doing it! He did it! He did it! Uh-oh, Jensen's Jensen, no flash. He's fucked. Yep. How many are dead flash after? Flash it again! Keep flashing it! Oh! oh my god. Oh. Oh, he's... Wait. Charging. He go in. Kill Biofrost. Dude! Former teammate, you gotta commit. Come on, man. Oh, Ultim closer. Ultim, go. Get in there. Go in 1v5. Closer. I feel like I would have ulted Nami there, for better or for worse. You might have looked like Razor K. Is that a good or bad thing? Ulted in solo, die instantly into five. I don't know if that's solo. <laughs> oh. Oh. He is pretty squishy. Oh my god, he's alive. Just barely. It looks a bit cursed. Ooh. Oh. Damn, bro. Stabby man. Just getting worked. That soul baron. I do suppose they get both. Oh, wait. Vi's on drag. Okay. Yeah. Shit's tanky as hell, man. Uh, 
This one's looking over. This is where in scrims, Blabber is yelling, and, 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 and. <laughs> then we all go mid, we get like in one, one next tower, and then we all die, and we lose dragons, like, The classic. It's actually so hard to end the game off one inhib like that. Yeah. Spawn, did he ever get any, like, WRs off? I haven't really seen Spawn doing a whole lot of anything this game. Like, we saw last game, French just WRing on cooldown. Legit oh, chunking goes. people to fucking 10%. Yeah, I mean, they are really behind, which makes it harder, but... Yeah, I mean, the game state wasn't this bad earlier, but now it's awful. I think that was their only win condition before. Yeah, Prince has been looking a little bit stronger than Spawn so far, <laughs> as far as rookies go. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I don't want to call it too early, it's still just the beginning of the split, but mm. in, in the matches so far, it's... It's looking uh, pretty good. I, I can agree with this. Damn. Dig starting off 03. They have a sub, though. Like, they also... I heard Ermot... Or not Ermot. Armut got in late. <laughs> so, like, they have not had much time to scram. Oh, yeah, late fight. Last night. Little red no, eye. like, his visa got approved later than most people's. So, mm. they just haven't been able to scrim as much, which is... Oh my Ridden god, fucking... is that a penta? Oh my Penta lit wait! Who took what? the fucking penta? Who took the bro? fucking penta? Oh my god. Wait, that was so much damage though. Is that a hurricane? <laughs> Seemed like it. Wow, Bjergsen getting fancy with it. Damn, double lift's so fucking hot, bro. Oh God. Jesus. Busio not on Azir support. Oh. <laughs> Poor Dig, though. <laughs> Do you feel bad for Jensen? I mean, is it really an excuse to say you don't have your support yet? Like, I think Bioross is a fine player. I don't think they should look lifeless with no Ignar. Like, seems like kind of a cop-out, doesn't it? So... You slot into Dignitas right now, and it should just be fine. I think it's a reflection of the team overall. Mm. I think Ignar is probably better, but like I don't think they should be awful without it. I mean, Spawn is definitely a question mark because he's never really played LCS. Maybe, maybe a couple games. I don't really remember if he's ever subbed in for someone, but he's ever had like a starter spot. So, new guy coming in, definitely taking a peek at how he looks initially. I was saying, like, I was comparing it to Prince's Lucian. Like, obviously, the game states were completely different, and they got fucked by Santorin not flashing and yeah. still trying to defend. But I, I don't know. Like, I don't think. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull back in the replay and just check. Yeah, the I was about state. to go look at it too. I actually spawned. Oh wait, dude. Check fourteen twenty. It's actually kind of cringe the way he dies. Fourteen twenty. Yeah. It's pretty cringe the way he dies. Like, like him walking up here with no purpose. Just actually like. It's pretty stupid oh. the enemy catches him here, right? But he also has no reason to walk like that. True. They, like, just cleared the vision in the river. Yeah. Like, he gets baited by Lulu. I think Lulu's holding, like, a minion or two. And he's like, what the fuck? I'm gonna go push him out. Oh, that, I mean, that is exactly what happened. Oh, okay, it's more than a two minions. It's five. Yeah, he's just holding the wave. Spawn yeah. wants to prevent that. Yeah, but they don't have vision and try. Like, they, they have they no don't information have much vision to see at all. Yeah. Like, Azir's got mid-prio. Jensen has to play back. 
So he moves down. Yep. So it's an understandable mistake, I think. Like he's thinking about like, you know, normal soul cues type stuff, like their support's freezing the wave. I want to walk up and punish that, crash my wave. Yeah. But, but that that move right there, like, makes the gold gap so much bigger than what it was. Because then double just kills turret, gets two waves, three waves. Mm-hmm. I mean, so much of this, too, just comes down to, like, the info they have. Because I'm thinking about it, like, in an alternate universe, right? Like, Dig had resources to match numbers here if they wanted to fight. I mean, maybe they're just weaker and they don't want to fight at all, which is understandable. But, like, they had unleashed TP on both soul laners. Their jungler and support were just there a second ago. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, like, if you're not planning to fight, then you should not walk up like that. Yeah. And then, like, I think mid game here is where Lucian should just be spamming WR, trying to get angles. Like, I, I think you look at Lulu, you don't look at Zeri. Yeah. I mean, anyone, I think. Yeah. And, like, I, I get it'll be awkward with Vi hovering. Like, you can't really do it because then Vi will just ult you. And they, they end up winning a fight, like. They win the fight at 1630 or whatever. The drag. What do they do after? I'm, I'm just checking Lucian R. Legit, like, he doesn't push it ever. Literally, Lucian is never ulted outside of a team fight. Like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at this fucked. again. I don't know if it's only Santor not flashing, because, like... Double if Boosty are literally just running in 1v2. Like, that that feels really weird. If I'm Santorin, like, I wouldn't want to flash there. That, that seemed like a really weird flash. 2v3? Yeah. Like, you're the three flashing away from two people. Yeah. Did, did you see Biofrost also, like, tried flash bowling to follow the Sedge ult? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Wait, that is... What? Like, even just the way they're setting up the play feels weird, like... I feel like he could lead with Nami ult, maybe. Rather than Sedge starting. Yeah. And, like, I think also, like, if, if Bio just threw his ult much earlier at double lift when he committed the ult and chasing them, yeah, I yeah. think Santorin also gets out and he's totally fine. That's true. Why isn't like, Bio Looking at that? it again, it's... If I'm Santorin, I don't think I would ever flash there. I would no, just be yeah. like, all right. This is fucked. It's so, so I awkward. Tell my bot lane, like, <laughs> I got a base. You guys got a piece. I mean, th they fully let Vi wrap around on them. Like, this is Diggs bot lane trolling pretty fucking hard, to be honest. Yep. Like, I don't know what vision they have, but <laughs> it's super obvious this is about to happen. Like, they, they even, they know Vi is here. They see her in the lane one second before. Yeah. She drops the Herald. They're probably just... I take it back. This is not on Santorin. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying if Santorin flashes initially, then they could maybe defend. But, like, yeah, flashing was awkward. Bio didn't just... ult. Fucking. Then they stay around and get killed. Yeah, dude, like, I don't understand the staying part. Like, that's so wild to me. What did they think was about to happen? I don't know. Vi goes and rivered with Harold. They're like, yeah, they're just gonna Harold, they're gonna crash Harold here and then probably do nothing. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a Vi with ult behind <laughs> us. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I actually feel like I would feel better on a team that started out losing than a team that starts out only winning. Hmm. With a new team, right? Because it's like it depends how the losses are. Like, yeah, I mean, like, it, it does depend. Throw yourself but in if, a dig spot. Like, do you actually feel good? Oh, probably not. But I look at it as you're going to lose at some point, right? And sometimes your ego gets too big if you just keep winning. And then it makes it harder to fix the problems. The second split I was on Optic, right? We're like, we're in summer. And we started out, we went 2-0 the first two weeks. So we're like 4-0. and And I've never seen bigger egos. It was so <laughs> crazy. Like, the entire team dynamic was just like, bizarre to me <laughs> everyone was just like straight slow stroking to reddit posts like 
looking at every interview, getting like upset about power rankings, what people are saying. I'm just like, dude, <laughs> played against like four teams. Like early season standings are like more a reflection of like your schedule. What's the opposite of fleshy? Skinny? Bony? Bony? First pick, Nami. Oh, are they going to take away the Lucian? I, is that even good? It's Do you really want a Lucian without a Nami? It's pronounced Flushy. <laughs> uh huh. The wow, they actually did it. They take away the Lucian. What? Take Sedge. Someone take Sedge, please. Or I lose it. Why did they pick Lucian without Nami? It's a takeaway. A PvP pick. That is not real, though, I'm pretty sure. All right, they get the Sedge. Now, what are we taking Immortals? Go Draven. Draven Vi. Draven Nami. I don't know yep. what you pick, though. You pick Draven, Draven Vi here. Oh. What? Meteos? How did yep. you know? Yup. Yup. Sona into fucking Draven. Uh, That's a disrespect pick right there. My God. Sona kind of gets toasted by Nami. Weird. I mean, it bells solution. I don't know. Like you still give him his vigilance passive. Intentionally picking Sona into Draven. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't like that. Yep, Viban from TL. Makes sense. I wonder if that Jarvan hover was a bait to get TL to ban Jarvan. Because, I mean, as Immortals, you definitely want something that can spam camp bot. Because Sedge is actually good at ganking early. You, you want something that can, like, bully out Sedge and make plays on bot lane. Which I feel like Vi probably the best for that. I mean, what options do they even have here? I wouldn't hate Zac. Like, Zac would be okay. Oi. Wukong? I don't know. I don't like that. Mm, it's okay, I guess. Ori. Ori Wukong. Kassadin? Huh? Kassadin with Draven, by the way. Well, they got the early game locked in, and now they've got the late game locked in. Yeah, I don't think that's how it fucking works. I think what happens is your <laughs> Kassadin gets his balls pushed in and Ryze keeps walking bottom. Your Draven doesn't get to play, eventually dies, and then he's a turd, and then it's all over. Wait, are you spoiling the game for me, you fuck? Are you and then kidding it's me? All ogre, sneaky. Are you serious, dude? I'm dead serious. Well, interesting strategy coming out of Immortals. We'll see if they can pull this one off. Can they handle the pressure? Okay, I actually don't know my count of like actual LCS games. Fuck, I, I, I would guess like 320. No, you have 99. Tactical dropped his axe. I can't watch this. Even though I actually, like, I actually, my eyes hurt. I can't, dude. There's a best three, best of three split. Mm. Holy fucking all in, bit. Nah. Uh. Nah, wait, but he we're lives. not just having the Draven get killed at level one, by the way. Uh. Because he dropped a fucking axe for fun. Not even dropped. He just let it time out. Did, did he have not have two axes for the fight? No, he had one. He all in with two axes. No. He all in with he one axe. One axe. GG says 526 games. Damn, 200 more than I guessed. I'm, I'm checking the replay again. I mean, I, I legit looked it up. You have 99. So Blaze has more than you. He started the fight with one axe, and then he moved into two. So he would have had one extra auto with two axes. Exactly. Which actually would have killed Sona. No Kappa. I think this is just really, really well managed by Team Liquid because no Kappa, Sona was dead or had to flash. Probably would have flashed. What is Piosic doing in here? In the heads up. You know, they lost flash on tactical. This, this is only has cleanse and has 
chugged all of his pretty weird he just legit leashed the camp for kenvi yoshik able to go for a second pass on the invade fleshy coming back to try and threaten like at the end of the day even if you wow. don't get anything stolen it's the pressure advantage that gives Jan and Cordy Unlucky. more time to freely farm. Here brother! The jungle buff, brother! Oh my god. Uh, Jan? Wow, I mean, that, I guess that worked. Was it kill? A weird way to... St Dude, but why TP bottom, man? I, like, this actually is such that's a, a fat wave, like, though. I guess he's getting the but wave. Yeah, that, that's the wave. That's actually fine. Yeah, that, okay, that's not as bad, but like... Even still, though, like, why not just have Wukong get the wave? Casting just goes mid or something. Yeah. Okay, so we, we picked Draven, by the way, and he says 5 CS. <laughs> nah. You told him to pick it, bro. This is on you. I mean, I said Draven was a good pick, not that they know how to play him. <laughs> They I think something about week. not using your Q and like flashing, losing it all in level one to a fucking Sona is just not ideal. God, you got this his dick is punch. actually a game where we're seeing Lucian go PTA though instead of normal first strike. <laughs> Probably because of Nunami. So you can't really WR if as efficiently. Midas nope. has 413 games pro, so if I have seven more, I'd have 420. Yep, time to come in. Someone sub me in for seven games. I might lose them all, but I'll have 420 games played. Now you have to, the next Ooh, Bring me in for Summer 100 Thieves. I'll play first three weeks. And fuck, you can kick me after the first game in the fourth week. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the Axe Man. Oh. oh. These trades aren't looking so hot. Potion, yeah, you can fill it back I up thought Nami back. smoked and rolled. Oh, God. Go oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. True despair. What the fuck? It's time to open. Yo! There's no shame in opening the fuck up. Dude, it's just straight 2v2. Like, no assist from anybody. I mean, like, obviously, there's a shitload of people bought a second ago, but they still killed them 2v2 only. Oh, yeah, this, my this shit is pretty God. gross. Bro, this is fucked up. I mean, they're literally getting just shit on hard. Is I don't think this is the matchup. I'll tell you that much right now, partner. Yeah. This is not how this is supposed to go. If Meteos play, Draven double kill. Tyler won. Is Sona this OP though? Because like I was told, Lucian without Nami doesn't do anything. Mm. Mm. No. Wait, Summit Flash? Huh? He had no spells. Summit's just an enter or what? Honestly, it kind of feels like it. <laughs> like, no, no disrespect to revenge or anything, but. Like, I swear to God, Summit just fucking dies every game. He seems to willingly die to every single gank. Yeah. He's like Huni. Playing against Huni was so fucking weird, bro. Like, good laner, but he had absolutely no respect for anyone else ganking him. Yeah. He's just like, oh, well, if I get ganked, I guess the game's just lost. Unlucky. <laughs> Throws his hands up. Gank to fuck again. <laughs> this pussy needs his teammates. <laughs> so what do you even do if you're IMT now? Like your win con of playing through bot is is fucking gone. Draven has no stacks. He's gonna be a turd all game. Nah. Wait. <laughs> I'm creating an emote in chat, and he dies again. Yep. <laughs> In my games, unless Kassadin's ahead, like, I don't really care what his level is. Like, even a level 16 Kassadin, unless he somehow gets, like, a ton of random cleanup kills and gets super fed, like, he never does anything. Mm. Yeah, I That's mean, how it's been for me. He's not going to legit one-shot the whole team, but he becomes way stronger, for sure. He goes from, like, not really being able to fight when he's not ahead to, like, actually being able to fight. Yeah. So I see it. It might just be due to the shit that I play, too, like... I don't really play squishy champs. They're probably more vulnerable to cast. Yeah. 
like, you know, tactical is a level six. You will actually just one shot. Oh. Okay. Looking for Simon looks pretty dead. <laughs> and another one for the books, please. <laughs> Write that down. 1152. Summit dies to jungler again. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure he was dead to revenge there without jungler. Yeah. He got caught on his E. Like, he was greeting and he gets got caught. He gets got. This is actually hard to watch. What's going on bot lane? It is pretty disastrous. That ain't right. Double Wait, CS. Kraken Slayer Lucian as well. I, I kind of fuck with this Lucian build. Yeah. Not bad. If we're gonna go all the way back in time to the order, I swear, if you just go like IE second, you're just actually one tapping everyone. You don't even care about your ult or first strike. I feel like Quick Blades is always gonna be Bon Lucian though. Maybe, but I, I played against Lucian who did this build in Soul Q, cracking into IE, and he done whoop my ass real good. Oh, he's going Essence Reaver. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh, yep. <laughs> Holy shit, he rebought his items like three times. <laughs> I know. I mean, that seems cap as fuck. I think he's trolling now. Sorry to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's a reality where you build anything but quick blades or IE on Lucian second. Why is Piosik even here? He's giving him a look. I feel like playing to the feed Necton at this point is not the win. Yep. Literally, just sit next to Lucian all game, and there's no way to lose. Yeah. Is this a... This looks like a kill. He has to flash the R. Oh. Okay. I, I feel like he could have mind game that if yeah, he like just flashed wait. on him first instead of ulting. Yeah, legit. You'd actually catch him there for sure. Yeah, you'd absolutely flinch because Ryze is like, I'm flashing the next ult. Yeah. But I mean, th this way, Ablaze Olive gets his flash and keeps his own. Like, Immortals seemingly isn't even fucked this game because of Summit right now. I mean, like, Lucian's not actually one to hard carry a game like this. I think mean, he can if his team isn't dead weight, but... Uh -huh. I, I, I cannot understand what TL's doing here. This makes zero sense. Covering Rise, bot lane. Lucian rotating solo. I mean, like, why play for Renekton here at all? Like, just put Lucian into this lane if you want this turret. Yeah. How is Lucian having to play back? This does not make any sense. I think Lucian can carry this game. Like, he has barrier with, like, Sona having heal and peels. They've got a lot of CC to peel for him. Mm -hmm. I think he absolutely can carry this game. I think it's possible, yeah. I, I, I think it's just not hopeless as all well for mortals. Oh, is that going to fight that? Oh, I guess they're rotating on him. He's also down uh, items, Rise of Wow, whole item, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's the only difference in their items. He has a D shield, Rise as a Sork boot. Dragon soul point. Meanwhile, top side gank there. Uh, three members. Like, I don't know. This feels like the classic, like, summit. If if he's calming anything to his team other than, like, yo, like, you guys just win the game, I'll just soak pressure, then he's trolling. <laughs> like, they shouldn't he's even be dead able to make again, on him bro. That he would need cover for. Like, fuck. Dude, how is this real? This should be what it looks like. You know, if they're going to commit, he just wastes their time. And they get way more on the other side. Oh my god, go and mute my mic. How is that real, dude? He's dead a fucking gen. What the fuck? I don't know. It's very weird. We got Kraken Draven. Surely goes IE second. Surely he's getting a second item this game. He hasn't really died since he died twice early. So he's had time to get more stacks. Yeah. 
I don't know what he's at. He hasn't died since his last death. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it sounds kind of weird, but actually it's relevant on Draven, unfortunately. Yeah, they can build IU second. He absolutely should. If he doesn't, he's griefing. Just like Lucian is griefing. Legit trolling. Like, not quick blades or IE second. Draven has 289 stacks. They just clicked them. Yeah. It's a pretty good amount. Yeah. It's not 1k on a kill, but that's 600 right now. 650. The 300. Probably his treasure hunter. Get your bonus level when you Currently has no bonus unique though. kills. Getting that towards the end. True. Still hope I mean, if TL hard throws, that cast it, in with it does feel like TL's kind of trying to lose in the way that they're playing. Yeah. And if he's, if he's Summit sprinting it. Fucking, you talked about earlier, like they were covering Summit, pushing the turret. Sona was like covering yeah, Rise. I, I think that's such a huge waste of time. Yeah. To me, that just seems like a team that doesn't really understand how to play off a fed player properly. Yeah. Like, I think if if you have that, what happened bot lane happen in a pro game, you should be able to, like, 15 minute end the game. Bro, what the fuck is Lucian doing? He's still not building one of the items. Hmm. Oh? But why? He wants Luzed? Wow, he's, his Q barely doesn't one-tap their ranged. Yeah. If he had a dark seal. True. Oh, oh my word. Dude's not dead? Huh. He should be dead now. Yeah. Wow, he is looking pretty fucked here. What do you think? Wow. Oh my god. He <laughs> just got fucking kidnapped. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the Kisante. Wait, are they getting clean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, Revenge is going to it. Revenge is going to kill himself. Oh my god. Is he though? Is he though? Oh! Dude, what is TL actually, bro? Like, the fuck? Yep. Oh, wait, this is a Jack Show Cassante. Yeah. Alright, I want to see what happens to Yawn here. Good engage. They go on him, Lucian ult. Barely doesn't kill, he flashes out. He actually doesn't chase, he just kind of sits on the TP. Which gets him killed. He got pushed really far by Revenge. Yeah, he did. What the fuck? Holy shit. That was like, a, just, he tapped the W and dragging him across the whole lane. Oh, wait, did Game cash out? On, oh, on Renekton? Oh my god, he did. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Summit. Agent Summit. Yeah, he's got IE. Okay, I mean, he's not crazy strong, but he ain't useless anymore. Four levels down on Rise. Yeah. Man, oh, I really God. feel like TL is actually going to lose this game somehow. Did you check the clock? Yep. 15. 15 minutes. Oh, goodness. And they have an FF. Yeah, me and Medias are coming out the retirement home. Oh, shit. Oh, Summit? Cannot be Wukong ulting like that. Revenge, not dead, but... Oh, my God. Ooh, this is hard to watch. Oh! Kenvi was actually more useful last fight when all he did was get caught and killed. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely barren. But Soul is up too. Wow. Wow, he's just going to They're going to go in? for it. They're going for the hero play. This seems trash. Is cooldown boot casted in real? I don't think I've ever seen that on him. It's always Sorks or Mercs. Doesn't sound very good. 
You have no fear, buddy. And now Team Liquid gets a move on over to the Dragon. They look for a pick, maybe. Oh, wow, the Rise ult. Nice. That actually just gets him drag. Yep. Alright, now it's looking pretty fucking doomed for Immortals. There is a little spark there of hope for Immortals. Yeah, Cloud Soul is absurdly strong. So much fucking move speed. Yep. Even just the passive move speed is a lot. Cast in his 16. It's true. Nah, but like, I'm telling you, it's not like he just instantly nah. came at 16. Nice. I feel like he, he gets like marginally stronger going from 15 to 16. He's too behind. Someone also pushing on the bottom side of the map, getting this minion wave prepped in synchronization with TL's mid wave push. They find revenge. He's stunned up. He's tanky, all right, but and he's just fucking dead. And he's gone. I don't think so. Team Liquid find the Harry's okay, dead. Okay, they get rise though. It's not bad. Uh, and <laughs> oh the weakest draven that's possibly ever lived oh oh let's go summit solo kill does that count as a solo kill on the stats because that was actually a solo kill i think it might and can be playing jungle tag over here in the river while the rest of the team assaults the level 16 Cassidy. All right, he's level 16 on Blaze Off. Do you have the firepower? Do you have the 1v9 potential? Oh no, he goes He's looking pretty dead. Oh. <laughs> the summit, what the fuck? <laughs> nope, GG. Bro, Tactical has not looked as good as he used to. Did he ever really look that good, to be honest? When he was on a really good super team. He looked not bad. Was that not the team where he was fucking Malphite ulting? It was, but not at first. Like, when he first joined it. Yeah. This was definitely not a good game from TL. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they gave Immortals a lot of time when they should have had absolutely none. Yeah. The TL early game stuff, that was such a fucking stomp that the game should have been unplayable for Immortals as a whole. Like, the way that they were using their pressure was really bad. And, like, Summit dying on the back end is just something that should never happen. Like, he does not need to die there. Ever. Like, they should have so much control that they can track Wukong permanently. And Wukong can never make a play again. Like, the only possibility should be, you know, the enemy diving too hard and killing themselves. But then Summit was just extended so hard that he just kept dying. Because it's different if, like, people are trading kills. And, you know, like, kills are going back and forth, right, from fights. But the way Summit died was just, there's nothing for him to do. And he's just walking up. When he has no support, and he just gets killed for no reason. And it's not even like he was getting dove. I mean, like, he potentially could have gotten dove, but then it's like, all right, like, his team can actually be there. They ban Orn, bro. Nope. They're doing the takeaway. Draven Nami. I've oh, seen this go back. really well before. EG needs to lock Sony here to have a just absolutely dominating 2v2 combo. Wait. It's the same trade? What the fuck? TSM's really taking a gamble here that EG will not mash that Sona lock button. True. Who would you rather be in these games as AD Carry? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't like Draven Nami. Like, I don't think that's real. I remember, so like, last game, I thought they'd do it because i saw some people talking about it on twitter i don't remember who like i think it was some european lcs players like maybe treats or something you want the combo yeah well just talking about the, the idea of like taking yeah taking nami away from lucian and then playing it with draven uh-huh yeah i, I mean, think it's more about being a draven counter lane than like yeah i don't think you would do this if they don't have draven it's possible that it might be better than like playing against lucian nami Oh, 
Oh, Solo's not going to let his boy get dicked. I just think that... Oh. oh, God. Oh, no. He dropped the axe. Oh, ironically, he actually dropped the axe. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, Draven! <gasps> oh, my God! Holy shit, bro. Well, okay, like, these matchups are getting so fucking warped by this ape shit, level one. Like, what is this? Both games, Draven just griefs. I mean, like, I don't even know if he wins that if he had both axes there, but he, he literally dropped his first axe. Really? Yeah. I mean... Like, he, 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 you know, they did, right? Like, they, they did the blue just so that he could have two axes walking into lane. Yeah, yeah. And then he fucking drops it. <laughs> nah, that's pretty troll. I mean, I would f feel like Draven should win an all-in. Like he he will, yeah, like level one with two axes up, for sure. Yeah. So, who... Who's favored from summoners in this level one? Like, barrier heal against exhaust heal. I feel like exhaust wins in a straight fight. Mm -hmm. but How much of bot lane summoners are like rock, paper, scissors? Because I know there's some of that shit where it's like, you know, if they're going exhaust, you want cleanse, but... I think they cleanse and they don't go exhaust, then... Yeah, awkward. I, I think it's only really relevant against someone like Samira. Because, you know, mm. they want to run exhaust because of your ult. And even if they don't have CC, you would take cleanse as Samira. Oh, oh, Jojo late flash. He's dead for that. Wow. Does Inspired get a kill back? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Boogie still has flash. Oh, wow. shit. Edging the fuck out of that one. Mm-hmm. Jesus. But, yeah, like, I, I wouldn't really call it rock, paper, scissors. In terms of that, like, is sure in a level one fight, it probably is. Mm -hmm. But I think over the course of a game, it never really matters. Oh, wow. Is Jojo dead again? Yep. Holy shit. Bro, Jojo's legit feeding this split. Yeah. On Rise, too, specifically. <laughs> was it Azir and Rise? Azir, the first time. Azir, the first time, okay. I thought he was dying on Rise, too. Was that someone else? Mm. I mean, he was dying on Rise, but... Mm. <clears throat> I think he, he did better the second game, but he was still dying a bunch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could just be unlucky games. Like, shit happens. Mm. Galio getting two kills, and I don't feel like that really does anything. When was the last time Ga Galio solo carried a game by having it, a lot of gold? Dude, it's been a while. It was like, I swear to God, it was like Faker Galio. Fucking actually doing crazy things. But that was the old version where you could W flash, right? I think they need to bring that back, dude. I feel that like was that's so true. broken. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but I don't know. No, but it's like Vi can channel her Q and then flash Q. Yeah. Is that too OP? No. I feel like those things add to the game rather than take away. You know, they just keep them in the kit, but then, like, change something else about them? Yeah, I mean, if they're too OP, I, I feel like... Balance them around having it. Who got it? That... Oh my god. No one's taking any damage in this fight. What's yeah. going on here? There's a lot of people hitting each other, but no one's really getting hurt. The fucking tank boys. Solo's ult. Oh. Hit the co- Oh. Wow. Actual wet noodle fight. I think someday ends up getting the Herald. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. Ow. That snip fucking hurt, dude. Yeah, when I was doing this, I felt like I had to always save Cassante's E, or like W at worst, to dodge the snip. That's too much damage. Oh, wow, he just... He just art him to cancel the recall. Now he's poking. This last one hurts. Go on the side, shoot it. Oh, alright. He's dead? Oh! No. The Galio ulti save. Bro, I... 
does save him in the end. I feel like he's actually dead there, Solo. If someday got at an angle where he couldn't even dodge, because he, he locked himself at the top of the turret. Like, yeah. Like the line. He could, somebody could just go up left and shoot it. Guaranteed hit. All five. Yeah, well, how did someday shoot the last all? He shot it he straight shoot? at him. Hmm. Yeah, I, I saw he used his W first, so I was like, I kind of like that idea of throwing out other abilities leading up to what you're trying to hit to, like, you know, throw him off a little bit. Yeah. I thought he was going to, like, W and, like, walk up and Q him or something, because I feel like at that point, like, if you're slow, you're going to flinch. Like, you're going to use your E. And like you said, he was pretty cornered. So you mm -hmm. got that, like, fat all across. Yeah. That whole, like, behind the tower area, but... He only hit, like, two or three of the mm -hmm. the five whatever that comes thing out does so much damage bro yeah i was like, in one game against like a first strike gwen who somehow got so fed he was just running around just one shotting people with his ult with like 2k gold from first strike oh wow maple's so fast bro yeah the ulti in somehow boogie is still in dying here i will not yield Oh, he's dead. Does TSM not have damage? I mean, they kind of don't. Oh? Oh my god. Oh. Pinta? My... Wait, Jame got it. Not the worst. <laughs> not the best. <laughs> that, I mean, that was a lot of fucking gold back. Did he get it before he died? Yeah. Hmm. Legit right before he died. I see. Yeah, I don't know. Another crack that looks pretty rough. Like that, that seemed like it should have been good for them. I don't know if TSM actually is just like too low damage with their picks or something. I, like they have a wombo come. Oh, okay. Wombo misses. I, I mean, that's why right there they they have I mean, he a have ton of AOE. Yeah, but they have a ton of AOE and they hit one dude. Yeah. Because look at Vi's HP. Imagine that was across the whole team. I mean, obviously they're not gonna hit the whole team, but. At least more than one target in a mm -hmm. 5v5 team fight. Uh, Chime should have given the Penta. Yep. <laughs> wow, somebody's so cute. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Sully's dead. <laughs> yeah, they just immediately dropped us back from the replay on Solo's corpse. Yeah. I mean, that's better than, like, the other way, where they grief us with the replays. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fucking pull us out of the replay to show someone inting. <laughs> you can probably figure out what happened. Yeah. Oh, Navori second Lucian. Let's Thoughts? go, human. Finally, a human is playing. <laughs> now, maybe if you just get gifted a quick little quad kill, you actually have the luxury of skipping Essence Reaver. Uh huh. I don't know, man. Is Galio actually a real champion? Mm. Is actually a real pick? Oh my god. Someday is dead as fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that was pretty far up. I am not sure if Galio is real. It'll help Wukong dive. But. Is Wukong solo diving going to do anything? Maybe if he's fed. I mean, does Galio do any damage, though? Like, <laughs> doesn't seem like he does any damage to me. Currently, no. He seems lower damage for I sure. I guess we'll see how it goes. Until, like, high stacks. Because, like, Proto Belt is usually what he builds, right? Can you get the move speed during the W? I've seen a lot of Everfrost. Everfrost, yeah, that works, too. Oh wait, interesting. Vi, no uh, chain sword, just straight up radiant full tank. Hmm. Super low damage, right? Smite. Yeah, I mean he's gonna do zero damage. I wonder why he did it this game. It doesn't really seem like a game where you'd be that worried about getting focused. Actually, is it about being focused? Is it not like? Uh, do, you, do you default buy radiant every game on buy? No matter what. Uh, sure an option. I mean, you could go like Sunder. For, you usually do it first if you're going to get it, though. Like, Sunder into Cleavers that build people have done on Vi, but 
lately it's almost all been the chain sword into radiant yeah oh shit we're getting a fight it's time which i mean the i think one of the biggest things about skipping it is like you slow your clear speed by going a full tank item first right yeah that's true less gold overall mm. and like you're much oh less threatening rise no way does rise live that the radiant healing nope not enough okay he's dead someday he's just on a mission for chime yo neo what the fuck why are you chasing gwyn oh man <laughs> dude I, someday was just in there dude i that actually could have been an okay fight but it ended up terribly literally one for four like i guess neo doesn't have his ie but, but like if you watch him he starts chasing someday. Like, you will never kill that Gwyn. You will mm. not do anything. So he had he had to just fight left with Cassante. You can check it at the end here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was mostly watching someday last fight. Yeah. So they catch Jojo with the engage. It's good. Vi goes. Boogie gets blasted. Yeah, he just gets killed. Right now. Look at Neo. Like, he, he could just be hitting the Inspired here. Like, he Inspired would have been dead. And they actually trade yeah. more kills. Because they're dead no matter what. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think part of what made the awkward for TSM is they didn't actually have good vision in the river. Like, they had nothing in the pixel or banana bush. So, like, they're losing info on, like, where exactly everyone on HE is. Mm -hmm. So, he's probably worried about, like, Lucian getting on him or whatever. Who's getting to oh, it's Galio. Oh god. Dude, Lucian's just jumping it flashing in on Draven, goddamn. He even went tabby just to kill Draven. I like that. Yeah, I I don't think this is playable unless you snowball the Draven Nami. Yeah. The second Lucian does anything that isn't getting killed, it's over. I would really like to see this matchup where Draven makes it to level two while having flash. <laughs> And not being completely fucked. <laughs> Wait, the TP? Someday? <laughs> Bro? Man, Wukong looks so fucking useless. He is a really weird champion in that regard. Some games he looks so OP. Other games? Just yeah. Completely useless. Because he's not good at farming, so he has to get ahead somehow. Purely based on the enemy just dying to him. Yeah. Only super viable option. Because yeah. front, front lining five to five has not been. Like, I think there has to be lanes where you can gank. Oh. Wow, dude. They can't do anything off that? JoJo's no flash, getting CC chained, and he's just not dying. Wait, I didn't even notice he's no flash. Right there he goes. Now he's dead. Took way too long. Yeah, I love the way Jojo plays. Like, he, he knows he's going to get killed for doing what he's doing, but it's just, like, he doesn't care because his team's going to clean up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that's totally fine. I mean, that, that's, like, legit good. If you have an entire team that plays that way, yep. it's so good, but so many KDA clowns. Mm -hmm. Someone has to be willing to go in that isn't just straight trolling. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you, he's, JoJo's goal isn't dying, but he's, he understands that if they commit to killing him, then they'll die for it. Yeah. So he's cool with it. And if they don't commit, then he's just, like, making a ton of space, like, harassing them. Yeah. Chunking. Okay. Is it enough of an int for TSM to capitalize? I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh my god, uh -oh. kind of oh. go in dicko mode. And he's oh, gone. Oh god. I guess Is there it's... hope for TSM? Nope. They did get Lucian. That's a BG right there. Finish it. Finish tower. Finish tower. Rise has to hit. Their only real damage on these turrets. 
Actually, I guess Gwyn counts. Oh my god! Ooh! Rise is pretty balanced, I think. Bouncy! Well. Well, well, well. C9 fly tomorrow? Ooh. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Alright, GG is sneaky. Yup. More I LCS. I'll see you tomorrow. More LCS tomorrow. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. I'll see you in about tomorrow. About sneaky. a couple minutes. All right. Peace out. See ya.